Hey guys, we are back with somebody that I absolutely adore. Kelly Sturdivant is an amazing, amazing person who is a big action taker. Uh, that's one of the best ways that I can explain you, Kelly, but you are always taking action. You have a really interesting story because you're someone who went into the world of being a stay-at-home mom, went back into the workplace and then realized, ah, maybe not, I think I need something bigger. So can you share with us just a little bit of your story and everyone can jump on and say hi and comment and share and say hello. Can you just share with us kind of how you got to today? Sure. Uh, so I was a stay at home mom. My kids are eight and 10 years old. Uh, so I wanted to be home with them as long as possible and felt that was important. So around the time of um, two years ago, my youngest would have been hitting grade one. So it was time to kind of find something to get back into the workforce and um, still want to be available for being with my kids and still do field trips and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I had an opportunity to work at my kids' school, uh, helping with their lunch supervision program. Uh, so it was very little, uh, but it was enough to kind of get me back into the workforce earn a little bit of income uh, while still being able to take care of my kids and enjoy my time with them. Uh, and then last year I decided that I needed more and the uh, school board system um, is a union based. So it's very difficult to kind of move up into the ranks. So I knew that uh, if I wanted to do that, I had to um, kind of invest into more education with them and be kind of stuck in a union job, which I didn't really feel too comfortable with anymore. So I had, um, I've been working with a online company for a couple of years as kind of an intern with them, just getting um, my feet wet, learning everything from blog writing to backend WordPress stuff, to their email management systems and all that. And I still to this day work with them and I love every minute with them, uh, but still needed more. So I started last year as a virtual assistant uh, and started offering blog writing and email management out to uh, the masses and very quickly realized that I still wanted something more. It wasn't quite where my heart lied. And um, it was probably last spring, I got targeted with one of your fabulous ads and decided to jump in and uh, I, didn't leave. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So you've, you've wanted more and I will never forget watching even just at SMU live, some of those ahas that you had, I could see them, you know, SMU live is intense. It's very intense. Cause you walk away and you're like, okay, shoot. Now life can't be the same. <laughs> and I saw it on your face. You're like, oh my gosh. This changes everything. And you literally, you took big action steps and committed to big things like right away. And you literally got results. I think it was that week because you were so determined to make it work. I did. How fast things transitioned when you went all in? Uh, so um, I've been with SMU for about seven months before SMU Live hit and I joined Elite. And um, the click was on my radar, but prior to SMU Live, it was more of a wish and a dream rather than a goal at that point. Um, and SMU kind of just reframed my, my mindset on that. And I went into it and I signed the, the papers and I hadn't a single con uh, contract signed by a client yet. So I went into it completely uh, at zero, ground zero with that one. Uh, and I think I, I called you 24 hours after, uh, as I was at the airport and I had just signed a client that more than doubled the uh, cost of SMU and still gave me uh, income to cover what my previous part-time job was. Insane, insane. And that was just one thing like there's still so much more that's going to happen now kelly is one of the more humble people i've ever met she's not the first person who's going to go out there and brag on her own wins um 
So I'm going to do a little bragging for her. Uh, obviously, I just shared with you how she's an action taker, but Kelly was the very first person. I put out an ads challenge to all of the members of the social click, and I said, I want you to craft an ad. Um, they didn't have to do this, of course. This was an opportunity for them to try something. And so I said, I want you to craft an ad, the creative, the copy, the targeting, the objective, what do you want this to look like for one of my products, one of my converting funnels? And Kelly was the first person to turn it in and be like, here it is, let's go. And the crazy thing is that literally the first week that we launched it, it reduced my cost per acquisition. Can you share first and foremost, like why you were so excited about just the project in general. And I want you to share the wins that we had. Um, uh, Facebook ads is uh, is somewhere that I'm, I'm looking to go more in depth into. And up at that point, I didn't have a ton of experience with running ads. Uh, so I jumped at the opportunity to be able to run ads and see how I can make them work. Uh, so I wasn't giving up that opportunity for anything. Uh, so I, I did it as quickly as I could and uh, kind of changed your target market, I think, <laughs> and uh, and just ran with it. And I believe we had dropped the CPA by $10. $10 less for every single purchase into my program. That's a game changer. And for anyone who's listening to this and you're like, I run ads or I have someone running my ads, what kind of shifts could that do for your business? Like, just think about that. Even if your cost per acquisition is reduced by $2, that can make a big difference, especially when you're running high volume of ads. We run a lot of ads all the time and that's a game changer for us. So you took action, you made it happen. Um, it was crazy because literally just, it, it was clear right away that it was a winning set. And I was, I was blown away. I was like, this girl needs to be running ads for a lot of people. Even though I know that you hadn't had a lot of experience in it, it was clear that you had jumped into trainings and listened to things and you had been collecting the information just ready to put it into action. And you did, which is so cool. So today you have, you have uh, a clientele that, is better than your old part-time job, which is exciting. Mm -hmm. But I know you're not satisfied with that. Like you want to grow so much more this year. What, what kind of things do you want to experience? What kind of clients do you want to work with this year? What's going to be even bigger in 2019? Um, my, uh, my current client tells a little all over the place. I have a, a medical dermatology client and I have, uh, I work in the health and fitness space as well. Um, but I, I love, um, I love things that kind of get me excited. Um, I, I'm a plus size gal and, um, it's tough being a plus size in a world where, uh, people still, um, you know, shun that. Mm. Uh, so women's empowerment on, on a plus size scale is a, is a huge thing for me to get behind. Um, plus size clothing, uh, anything like that is, is, um, true and near and dear to my heart. Um, uh, from there, I'm, I'm open to almost anything. I love just experiencing the world and seeing what's out there and what, uh, other businesses are about and helping them to, uh, grow exponentially. Oh, I love that so, so much. Now, thinking about where you started even just seven months ago to where you are today, there's obviously been a lot of growth and change in not just your skills and your clientele, but there's a lot of personal growth that is required on the journey. Has that been surprising for you that it's not just like, oh, learn the skills and send out the bills and pay your bills and you know what I mean? It's it, it's crazy. Has yeah. that been, how has that been for you? Um, kind of eye opening. Um, I'm I don't like saying it, but I I'm pessimist at heart, uh, and um, I, it's a change that is is um, becoming more and more uh, apparent that I I'm not anymore. And I'm starting to, I'm starting to see the world a little bit differently. And um, positivity is is kind of a big shift for me. Uh, and being able to um, just, I don't know, the old phrase that uh, see the world through rose colored glasses. It just, 
Mm. Um, it, it's, it excites me now to see kind of how my, my mindset has changed and I'm more open to learning and, uh, um, and just shape my, my experiences with that. I love that so much. I I even saw the journey, like I saw even over SME Live. It was funny because I think day one you came in kind of with a little bit of a wall built up. And this isn't an insult. This is like there was a wall and you were guarded even towards like me, <laughs> you know? And there's no shame. Like a lot of times when we meet people online, you think, is this person really going to be who they pretend to be online and you hope fingers crossed that that's what's going to happen but i saw day by day even just over those two days it shifted and now it's only been two months and you have a glow about you like you're you're excited you've also made some incredible friends i know and <laughs> tell me a little bit about what you've learned in terms of the importance of the friends that surround you on this journey oh uh they're a big a big part of it um yeah, uh, the the um, the wall is uh, is a defense mechanism, uh, and it's something that like I said I, I'm learning to kind of let my guard down a little bit more. Um, so that second day, um, there was the there was five of us together that we all jumped in at the same time, and I, I think we all actually kind of nudged each other uh, along. One pushed one uh, to uh, to join. Uh, so we kind of had a bond right away that we were doing this together and we were going to support each other with it. And still to this day, we're still supporting each other. Uh, and then outside of that, uh, just the friends I've met in SMU uh, to begin with, um, I have so many different groups of, uh, of not only um, leaders and, and supporters, but really true friends that just want to see you succeed and want to be a part of a part of that. And I wouldn't be anywhere without any of them. One of the things that you just said stands out to me because I think we're so used to a world that is not wanting to see us succeed. We're literally in a world that is waiting for us to fall so that they can say, see, I told you so. And when you start to connect with different people who are on a similar journey to you, you realize there's good people who want me to succeed. And I think that's that's a huge transition. It's not, I mean, it's sad that that's how the world is as a whole, but I think it's beautiful to see when we all come together, how much growth can occur. Mm -hmm. and, and I've seen that in you, which is amazing. So next year is gonna be an amazing year for you. I just know it, this was already a shift going into the end of the year for 2018. How much more has already happened in just these couple of months at the end of the year than you expected would happen? <laughs> <laughs> well, comparing my start of the year from the end of the year is, is night and day. Um, I think uh, a big part of that is the mindset, mindset shift that I had um, and knowing that uh, things aren't going to happen unless I'm willing to to do the work and put in the effort for it. Uh, so I found the beginning of the year it was um, more of I ah, will just see how things go and we'll you know fiddle around a little bit. Um, but when I made that commitment to jump and jump headfirst into the click, I kind of had to put my skin in the game and uh, and now I have to make something happen with it. So it just kind of lit a fire and. Um, and I can't wait to see what that leads uh, into the next year for me. I'm so excited. I just have this really good gut feeling about 2019. It's going to be an amazing year. And you're one of the people who's going to enjoy that year. You know, <laughs> like it's going to be awesome. So I just have two last questions for you. There might be some people who are watching this who are like, I'm on the fence about becoming a social media manager or joining the social click or jumping even into SMU because they're skeptical. And I, I get that. There's so much garbage online that people get nervous, just like we all do. We see, we're skeptical when we see ads because we just know that there's so many bad things on the internet. What would you say to that person who's like, I don't know, I'm on the fence. I'm, I don't know what to do. Do I take this step? What, what are your thoughts? Well, the $1 uh, seven-day trial makes it a no-brainer. 
um, it's it's well worth a dollar to jump in and you get access to all of the trainings right off the bat uh, that you can see exactly what SMU is all about and dive into the culture. Even with we, if, if it had half of the courses that it had, it would still be exponentially better than anything I've seen on on the Internet. And I came from a virtual assistant background where virtual assistants are teaching social media and it's not done very well either. Uh, so with SMU, it was more of diving into it the right way and the community that's built up behind it that I don't fear having a question about something and not getting an answer uh, back to it. Um, I didn't know anything about social media a year, a year and a bit ago. And now my mind is just filled with so many different things that can happen uh, to a business with social media and when it's done right, uh, how that can uh, impact not only my business, but someone else's. So. I love hearing that so much. So if you're hearing this and you're like, I don't know, I just don't know. There's nothing wrong with checking it out. Um, we're not going to lock you in. I'm not trying to steal people's money and make them stay and make them feel like they have to do it. If you jump in and you enjoy the trainings and you think I could do this, I like this. Like this seems exciting to me. You can actually get full access to SMU for seven days for just $1. Yes, for real. No, $1. There's no hidden caveats. So go to smutrial.com. Kelly, where can people learn more about you? If people are like, I want to hire this girl. I want I want her to look at my ads and I want her to decrease my cost per acquisition. Where can people find out more about you? Uh, you can find me on all social media platforms under Blue Page Social or at my website, bluepagesocial.com. Or uh, hit me up with a friend request on Facebook. Uh, Kelly Sturdivant is who I am, and uh, I accept all friend requests. <laughs> Amazing. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Kelly. This has been awesome. And thank you so much, everyone, for hopping on, giving love. And I can't wait to see. Aren't you guys excited to see what Kelly's 2019 looks like? I am super excited. We'll see you all later. Bye.